Welcome to 321 Photoshop, I'm Julianne Cost. Here are three ways to use clipping masks in Photoshop. In this first example, I want to apply an adjustment to a single layer in a multi-layer document. But when I add the color balance adjustment layer and start making adjustments, we can see that all of the layers below it are affected. We can isolate the effect using a clipping mask. I can choose layer, create clipping mask, use the shortcut Command Option G on Mac or Control Alt G on Windows, or if the Properties panel is showing, I can just click on the Create Clipping Mask icon. Now as I modify the adjustment layer, it's only going to affect the layer that it's clipped to. In the second example, I'm going to use a clipping mask to clip a photo to a layer. I'll start by holding down the Option key on Mac, Alt key on Windows, and then dragging a copy of the photograph above the type layer. Then we can use the shortcuts that I mentioned before, or on the Layers panel I can hold the Option key on Mac, the Alt key on Windows, and position the cursor over the line that separates the two layers in the Layers panel. When I see the icon switch to a downward pointing arrow, I can click to create a clipping mask. This gives me a lot of flexibility as I can always go in and change the type layer or select any number of layers and reposition them in the image as needed. In this third example, I want to display a photograph in the three shapes but without merging the shapes to a single layer. I'll select all three shapes and use Command G on Mac, Control G on Windows to place them in their own group. I'll toggle on the visibility of the layer that I want to display in the group, hold down the Option key on Mac, Alt key on Windows, and click between the photo and the group to create the clipping mask. This makes it very easy for me to reposition the photo or reposition a shape at any time. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.